I'm sitting here at the headwaters of the Missouri River enjoying a beautiful morning and thinking about ways to be a more effective spiritual healer. One of the rules for spiritual healing that I especially appreciate is the Apostle Paul's admonition to put on the mind of Christ. He said, let this mind be in you, which was also in Christ Jesus. Well, this mind that was in Christ Jesus that led him, inspired him, and guided him was the mind of God. It's a mind of pure spiritual mindedness, holiness, love, and spiritual truth. It was a mind aware of spiritual reality, the omnipotence, the omnipresence, and the omniscience of God. Well, the Apostle Paul was a master healer. He was able to raise the dead with his prayer, so he knew what he was talking about. Mary Baker Eddy, the discoverer of Christian science, likewise taught the importance of putting on the mind of Christ in order to heal through prayers. So in my own daily efforts to be a more effective prayer, I find it very helpful to think often in terms of, am I putting on the mind of Christ right now? Am I letting God do my thinking? Is my thought flooded with spiritual truth, with spiritual reality? Am I seeing what God sees? Am I hearing what God hears? This is what the mind of Christ is doing. And it's a mind that heals. This mind is not filled with mortal mind attitudes, characteristics, and traits like anger, impatience, strife, conflict, doubt, worry, fear, and so on. These are all unhealthy states of mind and they do not contribute to your health or happiness. It's critical that we put them off, that we put off the old man, that we put off mortal mind and put on the new man that has the mind of Christ as his consciousness, his awareness of being. So if you'd like to do yourself a favor today, put on the mind of Christ, put on the mind of God, and let your sense of things fill up with what God sees and God knows. It's the path to health and happiness. It's the best path to walk there is.